Tom Lynch and I'm in the studio ready to get started on a new painting and I'm all excited about this particular one. Normally I stop and share with you something about techniques, uh, a unique way to handle the brush and so forth, but there's something I haven't talked much about right there. The lighting, the light bulb. Can't say enough about having the right type of light while you're developing the painting because it's going to be showcased and you want what you finish to look like it should. So if you have the any old store light bulbs, you're going to have a problem with the coloring, the lighting. I use Verilux light bulbs. I have for many years. I'm sorry it took me so long to tell you about it. I have them in the ceiling. There's those can fixtures. You could leave them in there. I've also done something a little extra. I've taken what's called a gooseneck to bring that light closer down. So I have attached that to the light fixture. I could take a look, but it's crazy looking. But I have my Verilux light bulb in the ceiling. And I also have these Verilux light fixtures that you can get as well so that I can move this around in different areas. I want to take a look at that, you know, painting from a distance. It's going to be under a Verilux light. So the coloring is what it should be, what I see in the studio. Nothing worse. Now I have the beauty of a north light window. Guess what? It's a cloudy day. It's not going to work good enough. I have a great west shaded light view, but in the morning it's going to be different than in the afternoon. So I want to correct all those inaccuracies by having a good quality light. Can't say enough. I travel with them. I carry them in my uh, travel setup for workshops. So I take out, the first thing I do is take out their light bulb and put in this light bulb. So the student is seeing good quality because they thought I was using yellow and it really wasn't any yellow in that particular color. So take a minute, check out your studio, see that the lighting is right so that the color will end up being accurate. Then it's all about the brush and the palette and the mixtures. That's a different class. I'll invite you back, but I wanted to share with you the light fixture and the light bulbs because it does make a big difference. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.